What is happening, Swanky fam? Welcome back to the channel. Today is December 8th. It's a Wednesday. We're out here at Swanee Creek Park, and we are about to bring you the top five disc golf courses in the world, guys. So be sure you like and subscribe. Let's jump right in. All right, guys, jumping right into our list. Number five, Milo McIver, okay? It's a state park up in Oregon, and they hold the Beaver State Fling there. Uh, it hasn't been held in a few years due to COVID, and then there were some wildfire issues this year, I think. Um, a lot of that area is plagued with that sort of thing. But when this event is held, the Beaver State Fling is one of the most beautiful tournaments, the most Milo McIver, one of the most beautiful courses, heavily wooded, lots of elevation change. And guys, like the woods of the Pacific Northwest are so unique. Uh, I love the look of the foliage out there. It's something we don't get a lot of on tour. Um, and so missing the Beaver State Fling the last couple of years has really been felt and I hope we can get it back. But regardless guys, Milo McIver is coming in at number five on our list. One of the most beautiful courses in the world. All right, guys, coming in at number four is Blue Ribbon Pines out in Minnesota, uh, right outside of East Bethel. Uh, this course is super famous. One of the most famous 27 hole courses in the world. Uh, they hold the Majestic there. They hold several large tournaments, lots of A tiers, uh, several large tournaments at this, uh, at this venue. And it's beautiful, guys. They've got some famous holes from, I think they call it 888. It's a par four out there that's just like the straight shot um super famous guys go out and check out some coverage out there if you haven't seen it they've got the driving range hole where they throw off the top of the brp logo i mean it's just like so many iconic holes uh at blue ribbon pines and and just one of the most beautiful courses uh that we have here in the u.s uh so yeah check it out guys that's coming in at number four blue ribbon pines all right, coming in at number three, we're taking our first adventure overseas to Norway at Krokel. I think I'm saying that right. Krokel Disc Golf Course in uh, in Norway, outside of Oslo, I believe. Um, and this course is stunning. Guys, I've obviously never played there. I've never played at any of the courses on this list. But guys, you gotta, gotta go watch some coverage. There's some coverage of a, of a tournament out there that Nate Sexton does the commentary for. It is so beautiful. It's on an abandoned golf course that they took and retooled into a disc golf course. And the elevation change is insane. They're throwing down mountains, basically. The views are incredible. I mean, it's like if you just took a, a disc golf course and plopped it into like Narnia or something. I don't know. It's just so beautiful out there, guys. Go check out the coverage. A really challenging course as well from what I've heard. And uh, I hope to see more tournaments out there, uh, especially if some of the American players can get over there. Maybe we could get a tour event held over there. I don't know. Um, but yeah, guys, Krokel coming in at number three. All right, guys. We got our last two courses. Coming in at number two is Maple Hill Disc Golf Course in Massachusetts. You might be surprised that it's not number one, but I've got a great course for you at number one. Um, probably the unanimous number one course in the world. Maple Hill's coming at number two for our list. Obviously, it's the home to the MVP Open, formerly the Vibram Open, uh, stop on the Pro Tour, and one of the most beautiful courses on the Pro Tour, probably the most beautiful course on the Pro Tour. Uh, it's the Christmas tree farm. It's it's always held in like the, the late summer, early fall, where we get to see the leaves starting to change. and and some just amazing shots. Obviously, Simon Lazat has helped it become even more popular living out there and filming some of his vlogs at the course. It's just a beautiful course, guys, and the prestige of the event just helps add to uh, the value and the depth and uh, just the greatness, the overall greatness of the course. Uh, you've got iconic holes like number eight, uh, where you've got the crazy eights sitting there in the gallery, and you've got, you know, hole one, hole 11, those huge tee shots, and then classic green on hole 18. Uh, just a beautiful course, and I can't wait for MVP next year. All right, guys, drum roll. Number one, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the content so far. We're eight videos into Discmas, still pushing for that 10K subs, guys. We're giving away this bag, and yeah, let's do number one. The number one disc golf course in the world is Hillcrest Farms in Prince Edward Island, Canada. 
Okay, so we're taking another excursion off of the United States and we're going off into Canada where they hold the Canadian Nationals. Yeah, guys, Hillcrest Farms feels like you just stepped off of the plane in Canada and you entered into a winter wonderland. It's tight fairways of tall, just humongous pine trees lining everything. The Canadian Nationals coverage from 2019 is available on YouTube. You should check it out. I think it was a classic duel between Macbeth and Sexton actually, um, but there are a lot of great Canadian players playing in it as well. Be sure to check that out, guys. That's our number one, Hillcrest Farms. Let us know what we missed. What's your favorite course? Let us know in the comments. And yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow for day number nine. Stay swanky.